Walking is one of the best exercises you can do for your overall health. And it's more fun to walk with a friend. I'm so glad you're joining me for this 30 minute at home walking workout. You can do this workout seated or standing or a combination of both. Just pump your arms and move your feet. Always a good idea to make sure we have water available too. Did you know, in addition to our videos, Silver Sneakers offers live virtual workouts for Silver Sneakers members every day of the week. Classes are designed to improve your cardio and muscular strength to keep you doing all of your favorite activities. The best part is that it's live with the instructors. There certainly is a different positive energy when we're working out together live and in real time. The live classes are no cost to you if you're eligible for a Silver Sneakers membership. You can see our schedule and sign up for classes by checking the first link in the description box below. All right, let's add a little bit of upper body movement to our lower body movement. In four, three, just bring your shoulders to your ears. That's it, shoulders up, down. Now shoulders front and back, front and back. Think about squeezing the skin around your spine when you go back. Four more. A little change, cross front, open wide. This can be small. It might grow as you feel a little warmer. Palms are down and palms are up. One more change, reach to me and pull back. Reach, pull. Let's do four more. Pump your arms, walk your feet. Now, as we're moving in place, you might really think about rolling through your foot, a toe ball heel landing. If you're seated, sometimes a lot of walking in the chair can be overload on your hip flexors. So if it starts becoming a lot for you, here's an option. Toes stay down and alternate your heels. If you're seated, remember to sit forward in your chair, chest up tall. We all should have a tall chest, right? So your choice if you alternate your heels or come back to a walk. All right, let's add on. Four, three, just walk wide. Shift your weight just a little side to side. Come back in. Let's go a little bit wider again. Come back in. All right, just a little combination. We're going out, out, in, in. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Or just walk in place, totally up to you. Let's do four more. Here's four, now I get a little lower, then I lift up tall. Walk in place, pump your arms. Another little change is coming. Tap down, right, left. Right, left. Good. Just a little tap with a little march. Feel free to stay with this or add upper body. Roll your right shoulder back, then your left. Oh, that's a little bit to coordinate, isn't it? That's all right. Give yourself time to feel the movement. You'll get it in no time. Take your right arm, reach across your heart. Reach. You might add a little bit more rotation through your spine. It's like when we're walking down the street and we have to look both ways to see if anything's coming, right? Before we cross the road. Reach up to the corners. If you want it, all depends how your shoulders feel today, right? Push out, push down. Out, down. Two more. 
Pump your arms, walk your feet. Perfect. Walk wide again. Come back in. All right, right away, go out, out, in, in. A little change, just walk up and back. So it's that out, out, in, in, but I'm walking forward and back. So there's a little push up and a pull back, just to engage your glutes and your hamstrings just a little bit more. In four more, I have a rhythm change. Two more. Last one, go slow, slow. Walk in four counts. Four, three, two, one. Slow, slow, walk in. Four, three, two again. Slow, slow, then in four, and again. Wide, wide, in four. Get low. And in, do it again. Two more. One more time. And then walk in place, pump your arms. I'm gonna turn to the side just so you can see this next little movement. Keep walking. I'm going up, up, back, back. Up and back. So it's the same rhythm. Join me when you're ready. I've just added a little push forward and a little push back. You choose what's best for you. Walking in place or this little push and pull. I'm gonna face you. Everybody, just walk in place. Pump your arms. All right, let's see if we can put those two moves together. We'll go in four, three, two, slow, out, out, in four, up, up, back, back. Slow, slow, in four, up, up, back, back. Do you have it? Let's try it again. Slow, slow. In four. Up, up, back, back. One more time. Slow, slow. In four. Up, up, back, back. Just walk in place. Nice. I'm gonna put a little bit of rhythm in this as well. Walk three, then tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. We doing all right? Perfect. One, two, three, tap. Listen. Last one, walk left. Just walk. We're on the left lead. Same movements that we've already done. We'll practice again. All right? Out, out, in, in. You choose how wide you go. It doesn't have to be a big movement. When you're ready, we'll go into the V step. Up, up, back, back. This one's wide. So we go wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Four more and we'll add in the rhythm change. Slow down, we'll go slow, slow, in four. Slow, slow, in four. Two more sets, please. One more. Just walk in place. Pump your arms. All right, that up, up, back, back is coming. You ready? We'll go in four, four, three, two. Here we go. Up, up, back, back. All right, do we think we can put this together? I think so. Two more and then we add on. When you're ready, slow, slow, in four, up, up, back, back. Two times. Slow, slow, in four, up, up, back, back. All right, let's do two more sets. Slow, slow, in four, up, up, back, back. Slow, slow, in four, up, up, back, back. Just walk in place. Just walk. Nice. Let's add the rhythm. Walk three and tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. 
Keep it coming. Let's do three more sets. So here's three. Here's two. Listen. Tap and walk right. Perfect. We're on the right lead. Just stay right here. All right. I'm going to add on. If you have space to move, we're going to walk forward. If you don't have space to move, everything works in place. You do what's best for you today. We go in four more. Four, three. I want a slow walk to me. Four, three, two. Walk back tempo. Eight, seven, six. And know what's behind you. Slow walk to me. Up, up. Walk back tempo. Slow walk to me. Walk back. Eight, seven, six, five. Slow walk again. Now as we walk forward, I want a heel ball toe landing. We'll work on our walking gait and then we'll walk back. Try that again. Slow walk. Walk back. One more time. Slow walk to me. Walk back tempo. Walk in place. Just stay right here. Now, keep walking in place. Let me turn to the side so you see the next movement. It's a rock step. Your right foot steps back. Come in, then left. So it's not just a tap back, but it's a weight shift back. Because sometimes we're walking down the road and something is in our path and we need to, whoa, get out of the way. Whoa, step back. Or sometimes we might stumble over a rock or something else in the road. And this is a way to teach us to recover our balance. Shift, pull in. It takes a lot of core work to pull in. So even in our little walk today, we'll work on some abs. <laughs> but you know, I laugh and joke about that. Seriously, if we have a strong core, our abs and our back, that makes everything we do so much better. So it's really important. All right, let's just do four more and I'm gonna face you. Four, and then we'll go together, put everything together. Are you ready? Slow walk to me. Four, three, walk back tempo, know what's behind you. Get ready, rock step back on the right, then the left, right again, left, slow walk to me. Four, three, walk back tempo, rock step back right left. Four. This is so good to open up your hip flexors. Great stretch too. Slow walk to me. Walk back tempo. Rock step back, right left. Two more. Last time, slow walk to me. Gotta walk with a little attitude, right? Yeah. <laughs> walk back tempo. Rock step back, right left. Two more, listen, just walk in place. Let's add the rhythm back in. One, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. Just join in when you're ready. Let's do three more. So here's three, here's two. Last one, tap and walk on your left. We're just on the left lead. We're gonna do everything that we just did from the left lead. Four, three, slow walk to me. Four, three, two, walk back tempo. Rock step back on the left. Always know what's behind you. Two more. Slow walk up to me. Heel ball toe. Now push off from your toes, back we go. Rock step back, left, right. Slow walk again. Walk back tempo. Rock step, left, right. All right, we're gonna finish this off one more time. Slow walk to me. Walk back tempo. Rock back, left, right. And then just walk in place. Nice. All right. It's always a good time to get a drink of water. We should bring water with us when we go for a walk, especially if it's a nice hot day. 
but it's warm in my home today for sure, so I am going to get a little drink of water. I hope you'll join me. All right, we're back to our spot. We're pumping our arms. We feel great to keep going. <laughs> Walk wide. Come on in. Walk wide. Come on in. Listen. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Take this to the V step. Up, up, back, back. That's it. All right, let's add in the rhythm. Slow, slow. Here we go. Slow, slow. In four. Slow, slow. Slow, slow. In four. Let's try it again. Slow, slow. In four. Now I'm going to add on something different right away. Walk to me. Four, three, two, go back. Four, three, two, come up. There's no tap down. It's just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Just walk. You can't do it wrong. Just walk, keep moving, and again, pull forward and push back. We'll do that a couple more times. All right, listen, back to our rhythm. Slow, slow, in four, walk to me. Four, three, two, go back, slow, slow. In four, walk up to me. Back we go. Slow, slow. In four, walk up to me. All right, one more time. Slow, slow. Walk up to me. Walk in place. Pump your arms. All right, we're gonna put the rhythm back in so we can get back over on our right lead. Four, three, just walk three and tap. Here we go, one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Three more sets. Here's one set, here's two sets. Here's the third set, tap and march. That's it. All right, let's see if we can put it together on the right side. Let's start walking wide. Come on in. Out, out, in, in. When you're ready, just the V-step. Up, up, back, back. Now the rhythm, slow it down. Slow, slow. Here we go. Slow, slow, in four. Do it again. Slow, slow. In four. Two more times. Slow, slow in four, and again. Walk in place. If you'd like, we'll add the travel. Walk up to me. Four, three, two, go back. And again. Let's do that two more times before we add in our little combination. Last time. Listen, slow, slow. Walk in four. Walk up to me, walk back. Let's do it again, slow, slow. Walk up to me. No, again, what's behind you? Slow, slow. Sometimes you walk a little farther than you think. Walk up to me. Back we go. Slow, slow. Walk in, up to me. One more set, slow, slow. Walk up to me. Just walk in place. Nice. All right, lift your chest up. Roll your shoulders back. Little change in four, three, two. How about a little step touch side to side? Step touch. You choose how big or how small it is. Maybe you want to get low and push side to side. This music makes you want to move, right? Or maybe you want to move your own way a little higher. I'm good with that. All 
All right, do you have a little bit more space to move side to side? If you do, take two steps over there. Tap and come back. Just use the space you've got. You might notice it's the one, two, three, tap pattern. One, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. So if you're not able to travel, then walk in place. One, two, three, tap. Now, if you have the space and you want to up your walk just a little bit, tap out to the side. Want to add on just a little bit more? Reach across. Maybe you reach out in front. Maybe you push with your heel. Let's do four more. Walk in place. Just walk. All right, so we're gonna put a few things together that we've already learned. Make a little combination. Gotta work on coordination while we're doing our walk because there's always things happening when we're out for a walk, right? We have to navigate what's in our space. Sometimes there's cars on the road, depending on where you're walking. Sometimes there's things in the road that we might not see. So working on coordination, agility, recovery is all important. Walk up to me. Walk in place, single step touch. Walk back, walk in place, single step touch. Listen, two steps over there. Two steps tap, two steps tap. Listen, walk up to me. Walk in place, single step touch. Walk back, walk in place, single step touch. Two steps over there. One, two, three, and tap. Perfect, let's just do it one more time. Walk up to me, walk in place, single step touch. Walk back, walk in place, single step touch. Two steps over there. Tap down, come back. Nice. Walk in place. Just pump your arms. Perfect, all right. Let's bring our shoulders to our ears. Up and down. Bring your shoulders front and back. Ah, that feels good. Remember, cross in front, open wide. Palms down, palms up. You might feel like you have a little bit more range of motion in your shoulders now. Reach to me and pull back. Just pump your arms, march your feet. Little change in four, Three, just tap down right and left. Knee lift, right and left. So there's a little weight shift involved here as I shift my weight over to my standing leg. Again, you choose how high the knee comes up. Maybe you just lift a heel and I'm okay with that as well. You find what's best for you today. All right, let's do just a few more. Four here, four, three, tap down again. Tap, tap. You can stay with this or tap out to the sides. Tap. Now again, if it's a little smaller range of motion, that might feel better on your hips, but if you want a bigger range of motion, that's up to you. Four more. Four, three, two, last one. Walk right and left. One more little change for us. I'm gonna turn to the side. When you're ready, right heel lifts up, then your left. So again, we're back to that weight shift, left and right. Keep your knees pointing down towards the ground. Just lift your heels up towards your backside to engage the backside muscles. I'm gonna come back to facing you. Four, three, just walk in place. All right, so let's see if we can put a few things together, all right? Right knee goes up. 
four more. Four, three, tap, right then left. Or tap down, that's good too. Now listen, right heel up towards your backside. Ooh, a little directional change right there. Four, three, just walk in place. Those directional changes when our foot's out to the side and we have to recover and pull it back in, that will serve us well when something gets underfoot that shouldn't be there. <laughs> it's called recovery in our balance. Right knee lifts up. Four more. Tap down or out to the side. Lift your heel towards your backside. Shift your weight side to side. Maybe it's a little bit bigger weight shift. That's up to you. Or stay in place. We'll do four more. Four, three, just walk in place. Four, three, right knee goes up. Four more. Tap down or out to the side. Four more. Here comes that recovery. Hamstring curl right, then left. Whew, you gotta pull in. I know, I feel that too. Walk right, then left. All right, one more time through. Four, three, right knees go up, then left. Four more. Tap down or out to the side. Here it comes. Hamstring curl right then left. Did you get that? Perfect. Four, three, we can walk right and left. Oh, good news. That was a great walk. And we're ready to cool things down just a little bit. So just a nice and easy walk. Slow walk to me. Walk back tempo. Slow walk to me. Walk back tempo. Slow step touch. Step touch, step touch. Find your balance. Four more. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two, listen, slow walk up to me. Four, three, now walk back tempo. Slow, step touch, side to side. Step, touch, step, touch. One more time, slow walk to me. Four, three, two, walk back. Slow, step touch. Beautiful. Walk in place. Could we finish with a nice little breath together? Take a big deep breath, let your arms sweep out to the sides. Then just push them out and down. Roll your shoulders back. One more time. Let's take last breath together. Come on up. Out we go. And roll your shoulders back. Perfect. You might just slow your walk down. That's great. You know, it's really important to take time to stretch following our walking workout. You can follow along with Jenny in her five minute video, Stretches That Seniors Should Do Every Day. You can also check out our on-demand video library at silversneakers.com for some stretching videos. And don't forget to see if you're eligible for the Silver Sneakers membership. I'd love to see you in one of our live classes. Thank you so much for walking with me today. I hope you'll join me again soon.